So today I'm going to be tying the Sparkle Wing RS2. This is a variation of a fly that was originally designed for tailwaters in Colorado, namely the South Platte River. And uh, it really works anywhere. It works in a ton of spots besides there. But if you are trying to impress your friends with actually being able to catch a fish in Cheeseman Canyon, this is a great fly to tie for it. So to get started, I'm going to go ahead and put a hook in my vise. This is going to be a Tiemco 100 in a size 20. This is a dry fly hook. Some people tie this on the 101. That is totally fine as well. I definitely would recommend tying this on a dry fly hook though because it's meant to be fished as an emerger. I usually fish mine as a nymph, but it works great as an emerger as well if you need that. So I'm going to start my thread. I'm going to keep a little bit of space behind the eyelet there. And I'm going to keep my tag end as I work this towards the back. We're going to use that in just a little bit. So I'm going to stop right before I get to the bend of the hook. Come forward about three or four wraps there. You can drop that tag end for the time being. So we're going to tie in our tail material. This is called fluorofiber. This is a really shimmery kind of sparkly material. And the links to all these materials are in the description below. So if you can't find it, it's right there. Go ahead and I'm just gonna catch this on the thread and I'm gonna bend it backwards and keep it splayed so that I'm tying these tails into either side as I work it backwards. Once I have it back there, you can see it should already be kind of splayed out, but now is where we're gonna take this tag end and I'll try to do it so you can see what I am doing, but I'm gonna pull it up just right between these two fibers so that it's make sure that they stay splayed out. And sometimes you gotta kinda adjust this a little bit to get it exactly the way you want. You don't wanna create too much, uh, you don't want it pushing one side too much to the, you don't want it pushing one of these too far to one side or the other. So I'm gonna tie that in. You can see I've got a nice splay to those tails there now. Go ahead and just cut that off. And I'm gonna keep these long for a minute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a dubbing noodle on here. I am using super fine dubbing in Adam's Gray. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit create a very, very thin noodle on my thread. This is a dot thread, by the way. Also in, uh, this is in tan, you can do gray or tan or whatever. Um, you know, just probably not like red or green or something like that, unless you're tying a green one. Okay, so I'm gonna work my dummy noodle right up close to where my hook is. Do a couple of wraps, and now my very first wrap of dubbing, I'm gonna come behind these tails, and then I'll go right in front of them. And that now should make sure that these are pretty permanently splayed out, kind of exactly the, the way that I want them. So now that I've got those, I can dub forward, and I'm gonna go right about to where I started there. Use that extra to come back and just build a little taper in. Not too much. Doesn't really need to be tapered. It can be pretty straight. Make sure my tails are sitting the way I want them to sit. All right, now I can tie my wing in. This is gonna be midge diamond braid in pearl. I like to use this material versus the mini flat braid in pearl that most people use. The reason being, it's just a little bit smaller of a material, which means that you can tie size 24s, which is the size that again is gonna catch fish at Cheeseman Canyon. Um, you're not gonna get away with you know doing the diamond flat braid and it's gonna be half of the size of your fly if you're doing a 24. So I tied that in on the top here keeping it pretty far towards the front. I'm just gonna fold it over on itself and you wanna make sure that you get 
You have a nice little tight wing bud out of this. Couple of wraps just to make sure it's secured in place. And cut that off. And I'm going to try to kind of capture these butt ends so they're not sticking up through my dubbing on the front. All right. Even that out just a little bit. Get a little bit more of this dubbing. Make another noodle on the front, another tight noodle. Move that right up close. Now we can dub this front little thorax to a nice little taper. This can be fatter than the back of the body. And you're ready to uh, tie this off. So super simple fly. You can tie up a whole bunch of these and uh, just fill your fly box with them. Once you start using this, I promise you'll be really using it everywhere you go. Cut that off flush. Mine fell down a little bit. And now I can cut my tail off. I'm gonna keep it pretty long. I can always trim it down on the river, but I like to have it long for the time being. You can see it has a nice little splay to it there. Good wing bud on it. Yeah, so tie this one up. Let me know how it goes. Let me know what you think of the video and let me know uh, what you actually catch on this.